Hello everyone, this is Darwolf20, and welcome to episode 25 of Darwolf20's Let's Play Eric Monica 6 series, where I am continuing to check out Eidolon. Pretty cool mod so far, right? We're still getting into the basics, trying to figure out how to make resources, get the foundation set up. Uh, one of the things I needed to find between episodes was a zombie heart, uh, and that's going to get us some essence of death which we can use to make Shadow Gems. We're gonna need two Essence of Death per Shadow Gem, and we get four Essence of Death, it looks like, per Zombie Heart. So I did run around uh, between episodes. Uh, as you can see here, we've got two Zombie Hearts chilling in the system. I'm only gonna use one for now. Um, took me, I wanna say killing about a dozen of these guys to get the two Zombie Hearts, but I know I've killed Brutes in the past. So I'm gonna spitball at the drop rate being around 10%. It is not common. Uh, it's not that rare, um, but it's it's probably in line with Wither Skeleton Skulls, if I had to take a guess. Uh, maybe, you know, I'm just guessing, right? I really don't know. But they're not common, so just be aware that zombie hearts are not a thing you're going to get a lot. And brutes don't spawn that often. Um, I would say that, you know, I, I killed at least 10 or 15 zombies per zombie brute, so not a common spawn either so rare spawn plus rare drop equals expect to hunt around for these for a little bit but that said we should be good to go now so let's get our essence of death crafted so we're going to need zombie heart and rotten flesh right that'll be your first thing then we need two bone meal i already have a bunch of bone meal so that's cool but i'm going to prep it up here two bone meal uh and then two stirs and then a charcoal. Okay. That sound like a plan? I think so. Let's do it up. Okay. So once this bubbles, right, it's going to be one heart and one flesh, then the two bone meals with two stirs, then the charcoal. Okay. So one heart and one flesh. And then the... Hey, what happened? That was quick. Holy cow. And it burned up the heart and flesh. Wow, okay. Cool. Heart. Luckily I had an extra one. Let's be ready to do that a different way. All right, I'm just going to do this. That happened really fast. So I guess this is the kind of thing that you don't want to be patient about. I thought I had more than a... I thought I had more than 10 ticks there to handle that change. <laughs> I guess the I guess this is a more complex uh, thing. So boom, boom. Boom. One, two. And then the charcoal. Huzzah! We got the four essence of death. Nice. Okay, cool. So now we're going to need coal. And then one of you and one of you. Right, and then two of you, and one of you, followed by a diamond. Deal? So it's gonna be coal, then these guys with one stir, these guys with one stir, and the diamond. Seems reasonable to me. Ready? <clears throat> I would have been really upset if I didn't have that second heart, by the way. If I lost the first one. Alright, so one of you. Drop, drop, stir. Drop, 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 stir. Drop. No stir. Huzzah! We did it! We did it! Shadow Gem! Nice! I have no idea what this is used for. I assume something advanced. Uh, it'll make po it'll make it'll make something cool. Whatever whatever this does. I don't know what the output of this is. Which is interesting. Um, it can also be used in the magic workbench to make a soul fire wand. Fires magical sparks. Yes, please. I would like to go to there. Uh, but hey, that's pretty nifty. So that completes the quest, which gets us soul shards and an alchemist delight, which is a flask of regeneration, which sounds pretty cool. All right, not bad, not bad. I don't want to neat mod so far. The the alchemy is a little bit tricky. I'm not gonna lie. There's a bit to it, um, but it's fun. So it looks like there's a couple wands we could get, and I would like to try them out. So there's a soul fire wand, 
Uh, and then there's a bone chill wand, which needs a wraith heart, which I think I already got. Hang on. Yes, I've got one of these. Uh, while I was out hunting for the for the for the zombie heart, I was killing a wraith and I got a wraith heart, and I'm like, ooh, I bet I'm gonna need that. <laughs> I do, I do. So let's try the soul fire wand first. So we're gonna need some gold inlay, some blaze powder, or a lesser soul gem. It doesn't actually look all that bad. Uh, inlay, we need the gold inlay. So how many of those do we need? Just one, sweet. And then it's made here, soul fire wand. Okay, cool. Looks like there's no JEI put the things in integration, but that's okay, we can make we can make this work out. How about when I close the UI, does the, do the item stand there? It does not. Okay, cool. So that's a thing that we now know. Uh, so this was up here. What else do we have? The two arcane gold like this. The inlay on the bottom. The lesser dude up top. Hey, look at that. Cool. Soulfire wand. Neat. And I think while I'm here, I might as well make the bone chill. We're going to need a couple pewter. Some bone meal. I was told I would need a lot of pewter. I'm starting to disagree with that assessment. That's right, I needed a stick as well, didn't I? It's a wand after all. Can't make a wand without a stick. So you were up here, I think we had a couple pewter, I think we had some bone meal, and another one of these lesser dudes, nice. Bone chill wand. Excited to try these guys out, except for the fact that it's daytime. And we still don't have a very good and cheap way of making it nighttime. Obviously, I could get into blood magic and I could have my, you know, click the the thing. But I think what I'm going to instead have to do is just be patient uh, and wait for night. It's not going to be that long, so I'll be right back. Oh, and while I'm at it, how about we talk about Ash Gloves? Increases your attack speed. Legendary, huh? Ash Gloves. I got this while I was hunting last night. Rarity Legendary. Increases your attack speed. So what do I have right now? Chance of getting a small buff of saturation potion when eating. Uh, and the creeper explosion thing. For 25 experience, I could unlock a new one. And I've got so much experience, I don't even know what to do with it. So let's do it. Increases your attack speed, huh? Now if I were to take that off... I would say that's a pretty significant improvement, right? Can I spam click with this? Because that is pretty legendary, if I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I can spam click, but I'll tell you what. It feels like I kind of can, right? It doesn't have any, like, numbers on how long or whatever. It's, But, I mean, it feels very spam clicky. Anyway, let's try out our, let's try out our weapons here as soon as I encounter an enemy. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed. I like the particle effects. That's cool. So freeze definitely gives them some kind of particle effect, but nothing significant. I wonder if this thing can be enchanted to be like more powerful. So there's life mending, converts health into durability. That's from Apotheosis. Ars Nouveau enchant, soulbound, mending, unbreaking. So no, no enchants specifically. I'd like this to be like super OP. I wonder if there's like, what's cool is the projectile actually has a little bit of gravity to it. If you're watching the projectile definitely gravities a little bit. I'm gonna hold right click. It's pretty fast. If you're holding right click, it's a pretty good shot. I'm sure I can repair it. It's probably just, you know, your standard damage value stuff, so repairing it should be doable with any one of the standard repair your tools mods. Oh my goodness, I am low on health. Let's run away. <laughs> I've still not adjusted to the fact after how many episodes now that, uh, so like how much slower are you? You definitely apply a slowness debuff, but it doesn't seem like much. I wonder if it's like a weakness or something. Not a ton. Go inside. My health is low and I don't feel like opening my inventory to get food. Uh, while I'm outside, I meant, obviously. All right, now we're good. All right, so the wands are, they look cool. They're neat looking wands and nice particle effects on them. Uh, but I would like to see them be able to do more damage. How about we flip through the book here under... And I haven't seen anything that references mystical signs. 
yet. So uh, I, I don't know if that's something that will become unlocked or if that's not implemented in the mod yet. That is a to-do to figure out thing. So I got some Wicked Weave. I wonder if that's a hint that there's like a way to make this do more. So where is, is I'm assuming Artifice is where I'll find these wands and whatnot. So there's Warlock's Armor. Uh, highly conductive of arcane energies. Uh, boosts the wearer's magical offenses. When worn, an additional 50% is added to any magic or wither damage dealt by the wearer. Wither damage dealt also slightly heals the player. Sweet. Um, magical defenses. Damage dealt to the wearer is reduced by half. Boots. Mobility. Reductions in movement speed due to obstacles and terrain are mitigated by half. And Im immune to slowness. So if I got the... If I got the Warlock's hat, it gave me three Wicked Weave, and I need four for the Warlock's hat. So I just need to make another Shadow Gem if I decide that I want some more Wicked Weave. Not the end of the world, obviously. Unholy Symbol. That's, is that a thing? What's the Unholy Symbol? Is that Mystical Signs? It kinda looks like it. So I wonder. I wonder if that's a thing I don't know how to do yet. There's some, there's some neat stuff in here, though. There's lots of other things to check out. I definitely want to check out this Soul Enchanter, too. Uh, where are the wands in here? Soulfire Wand. Um, okay. Looks pretty straightforward. Nothing too deep in the book about the wand, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll see if... Uh, maybe I'll get the hat at some point and see if it really does boost the damage output. All right, so apparently the chapter we haven't dug into too much in the quest book is Signs and Chants. This is going to be spooky. So the gist here is it tells me that you need to unlock uh, signs, which might be that part of the book that's blank right now that I was just talking about. I'm not sure if I just haven't gotten to it yet or if it's not implemented yet. It looks like maybe I just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, so we need to perform chants. You'll, and in order to do that, we need to learn the signs and combine them from your R's Ecclesia to compose the correct sequence for the chant you want. So I think that might be the thing that we saw in one of the crafting windows where I'm like, hey, what's this, right? Uh, so while most signs are learned from the gods themselves while progressing in theology, a few basic ones might be known to magical users in the normal world. Try paying a visit to your local witch and toss her your Ars Ecclesia. You might learn something new. So I guess I'm supposed to find a witch. Good thing it just became daytime. Literally, the sun is rising as I started recording the segment, so that's not ideal. But witches are generally found in swampy kind of biomes, right? Uh, what do we got over here? Ebony Lee? Ebony Woods? Okay, and we've got Rainforest Plateau? That's not really what I would call a swampy kind of thing. It's more of a jungly kind of thing. Pumpkin. So there's a lot of witch hazel leaves. It's a pumpkin forest. I wonder if Pumpkin Forest would have witches in it. I don't know. I just work here. So unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything in here about summoning a witch, which would have been cool. That's lesser summoning. I don't see anything in here about greater summoning. <laughs> I was hoping like maybe there'd be a second tier of summoning ritual that would get a witch, but no such luck. Uh, Weather Skeleton, Husk, Stray, Drowned, and Wraith. So no such luck on that. I'm not seeing much on the way of the map in terms of what I've explored already. That implies, you know, anything that might just be... And it looks like there's something down here that's a little townish, but I don't see the, the, the waypoint. Let's just peek real quick. Sandy City. Where is this located? Oh, this is way down here. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> that's way up here. Uh, yeah. The perimeter is nice and northish, and there's like a bunch of snowy biome stuff up there. Um, down here, Sandy City is where the witch hazel stuff is, and the and the. So maybe we'll check out Sandy City. Let's go back to that one. I might need to snag a little bit more experience because remember, it does take experience to travel far distances with these things. So yeah, maybe there'll be witches in this forest at night. That could be cool. I'll have to wait for nighttime to find out, obviously, but we'll see what we can see. I'm gonna wander around in this forest. We'll come back in a minute once it's like nighttimey. 
and right. see if uh, we get any luck finding a witch. And apparently, I, I would assume, based on like the details there, I think I just have to toss the witch uh, my book and they'll fill stuff out. So let's see, where would this be? It's in Theology. It says, Signs and Chants. Um, cool. The Signs chapter of this book displays all known signs that allows the selection and chanting of a sequence of them. Uh, chants have various magical properties, which appear here as new signs are learned. The majority of signs are known only to higher powers, but some basic ones may be known to earthly magical practitioners. Try giving this book to one, and they may teach you what they know. So flavor text-wise, it says, you know, give it to, uh, you know, and that would be cool. Um, this looks neat. We have to create a straw effigy. Okay. Altars, altar lighting, altar herbs, the goblet. Okay. Sounds neat. So yeah, I think step one, find which, give her my book. Let's see what happens, if I can find one. Well, apparently it's been a while since I slept. Haha! -ha. Take that. All right, finding witch, hopefully. Well, this is a new mob, Wilden Defender. It's, it's definitely got guardian vibes to it. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I updated the pack between episodes. I think we're on the current release. Uh, we were... I think I was like two or three versions behind, but they were all betas. Like, I keep... I, I Basically, there's beta versions of the pack, and then there's, like, release versions. I've just been updating to the, to the releases. Capuchin Monkey! Yes, please. Hello, little friend. How are you? Capuchin Monkey. I hope that monkey doesn't steal from me. Oh, there's another capuchin monkey. I'm liking the fast sword swinging thing, because that's pretty cool. Alright, continuing my hunt for a witch. Just wanted to point out that I found what looked like a newish type of mob, and then I also stumbled upon a newish type of creature. So, cool. Nobody panic, but I found a witch. Literally, like, two seconds after I stopped that segment. So do I just give you the book? Here, have the book. Now give it back to me. I assume. Oh yeah, look at that! Sweet! Unlocked Wicked Sign. So is that it? Like, did I do the thing? Oh yeah, look at that! Cool! I like it. And now the witch is trying to kill me. Well, thanks for filling in my book. That was nice of you. I'm assuming that's it. Like, I, I, I'm assuming that that's, that's all there is to it. Part of me wants to, like, maybe just check real quick. What happens if I give you the book again? Are you going to do anything about that? Uh, will, you, will you do something new? No new signs. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that... I'm going to call that a win. Slash homing it up. Uh, sweet. So I got a bunch of junk while I was out there, obviously. All the junks. But now we've got a pretty cool looking book. Oh my, hello. Speak or clear, chant or, okay, cool. That's neat. So signs and chants. They have various magical properties which will appear here as new signs are learned. Dark prayer, is that this? I think it is. Ah ha Cool! Perform the chant above, before, an altar to pray to the Dark Lord and attempt to draw their favor. The Dark Prayer, as is true with all prayers, may only be performed once per day. Oh! Oh! Only once per day! Additionally, while repeatedly praying will draw more and more favor, other rites are often required. Whenever you learn a new sign or rite, make sure to try it at least once. Further knowledge may be revealed to you. Cool? Perform the enchant above before an altar. So I think we need an altar, right? I think that's, you know, step one. Cool. So we need an altar and I presume an effigy. So to attempt to communicate with the powers of B, an icon is necessary. The straw effigy may be ru ra fairly rudimentary in its construction, but when placed atop an altar, it is something to direct your prayers to. Maybe they will be heard? Okay. So step one, effigy would be my prediction here. Now, what's the, what's the quest book say? I'm kind of like combining... Uh, the quest book with... 
Oh, books, you say, huh? Uh, the quest book with the guide for the mod so that we can kind of come together and figure out like what path I'm supposed to be following there. Uh, so basic altar, we need the straw effigy, we need the wooden altar. Cool. From Idolin. So any, I'm assuming oak wood will work here. Oh, it's a three, I get three of these. Okay, cool. So the gist here is that we want to place down the altar. Now, there's not a lot of details about how the altar is made, but maybe that'll be covered in this section. So what's interesting is it says the altar may be constructed in any shape or size. So I assume it's a multi-block, and I assume that means that it can do anything, like any size multi-block. All right, all right, look, I get it. I haven't slept. Calm down, everybody. Let's see if it's too late to sleep. Nope, it's already daytime. I know, I haven't slept. Everybody calm down with the whole you haven't slept thing. I get it. Look, Dyer's recording schedule is such that I will do a thing and then step away for an hour and come back and do another thing, as is indicated by the fact that my time in a bottle has gained two hours worth of time since I started recording this episode. But, <laughs> listen, listen, phantoms. Anyway, uh, so we can only pray one per day. Right? Uh, one time per day. So any size, any shape, putting the effigy on top is cool. And then uh, presumably what we want to do is just hit our mystical sign and chant. So that didn't seem to work. <laughs> um, because it says, uh, placing a coal object atop the altar man for uh, more power. Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. Uh, maybe it was in the quest book that I read this bit. Um, but what it said is, the wooden altar is the most basic. Altar is the most basic one you can craft. So that'll be fine for now. You also need an effigy, so make one out of straw. Place it on top of the altar. Done and done. Praying to the effigy will raise your favor with the Dark Lord, and if you do it enough, he might even decide to reveal some new knowledge to you. Be careful, though. Any prayer can only be performed once per day. Any duplicate attempts will fail. You'll know if the prayers work because the effigy's eyes will light up and you will hear a thunderstorm sound. Well, I got candles and zombie heads. So let me get another set of three altars. Because it says any, sh any size and shape, so what I could do... Maybe I'll do this. And now we'll try. Apparently not. Wicked sign. Is the mark of individuals who burned righteousness and salvation to seek personal power. Be wary of the creatures and invocations it commands, lest you find yourself corrupted by it. Well, that's kind of cool. I like it. I like everything about it. I'm just not sure what I'm missing right now. Altar lighting. Enhancing an altar, and sometimes it's capacity. If multiple lights are provided, only the highest power capacity will take effect. Power, power, and capacity. Two power, two power. Okay. Um, altar skulls. One capacity, one power. Okay. Altar herbs. So we can increase the power. I'm, wa I'm wondering how we can see... Um, like the current power level of the altar. It doesn't say much about when I have to do this, but it can only perform once per day. Okay. So the dark prayer says it's like three of the symbols. So that sounds to me like I should be... Maybe we'll wait till tomorrow? Try again? Well, supposedly the wither skeleton is the best skull. And they don't stack if I put a zombie head and a skull. So I'm assuming I want to do this. Um, and that's going to be like your best upgrade in theory. Because the book basically says, um, if multiple skulls are provided, only the highest power and capacity improvements out of all the skulls will take. So whether skeleton skull is going to be your best. Capacity apparently doesn't do much just yet, according to the quest book. Ooh, Potion of Wither and Wither Skull Fragment. Sweet. Um, but 
it's going to be used in the future. Uh, power makes it so that your prayers are more powerful and it'll take less time for the prayers to reveal you new knowledge. Um, concentrated candlestick might be the best. So let's see, what do I have on there right now is just consecrated candle. Candlestick is some arcane gold nuggets. I could probably make this happen. And again, I don't think having two on here matters. So I don't know why the quest gave me two, but we'll see what we can do. So arcane gold nuggets, consecrated candlestick, and that should be cool. I think that's kind of the best of the best. So plus two power for the candle, plus two power for the candle stick. They look about the same. So I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's just a visual thing. Um, and then if we got a wither rose, that would be nice. But I don't think we have any of those by chance. I'd be shocked if we did. That's the thing that you get. We learned that in my Let's Play series. You get that. But you could also throw some warped fungus or crimson fungus. Do we have any of those? Might be able to get some relatively easily. It gives us power, which is definitely useful. And, I mean, we're waiting for nighttime anyway, because we have to wait until the next day. Um, so it says you can only do this once per day. So I don't know, like, when day counts. Right? Like, when's the cutover? Um, but yeah, buddy. I'm going to do warped, because I just like warped. Warped fungus is cool. And I'll slash home. It'll be a little quicker than going through that portal. Okay, so how do I put the warped fungus on? That's the question, right? Oh, we got an amulet. That's nice. Plus one armor toughness. It's cool. Um, how would one place warped fungus when potted and placed atop it? As per usual, if multiple herbs are placed on top, only the highest. So we want a pot. I assume. Yes is good that looks like you know as many upgrades as we can possibly get at this moment so we've got a lighting we've got the skulls and we got the herbs goblet will be another way to make things cool but i think if i'm reading this correctly i need a better i need another mystical sign to use i'm just going to try this one more time chant i mean it says above maybe i have to be standing on top of the altar yeah, definitely not having any luck here, but it's almost nighttime, and I will sleep through the night so that a new day arises, and then we'll try it again. A new day arises, so let's give it a shot. So I'm going to do... Oh, look at this. Okay, hold on. I thought it was that, but look, you can click it again. Ah, I think I figured this out. I think I figured this out. So the dark prayer is three of these, right? So like you click it three times and then you hit chant and it'll do this. Haha! -ha! His eyes lit up. We did a thing. I don't know what, but we did a thing. Hello, fly. I don't know that it did much, if I'm being honest. Um, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, so the dark prayer, will attempt to draw favor. So I think basically what we need to do is wait till tomorrow now. It doesn't sound awesome. I really need to get that pass through the night thing. What was the ritual for nighttimey things? Uh, rituals of the night. So we're going to need a snowball, spider eye, two soul shards, and black dye. So black dye shouldn't be a problem. Spider eyes. Snowballs. Let's just do, I'm going to be prepared to do two of these, right? And then four soul shards. So let's see if this works. So boop, 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 and then the flint and steel. Did I do this right? Yeah, I hope so. Looks right. And this should make it nighttime.
Well, would you look at that? Ahaha, uh, it worked. Now, it's nighttime. Does that mean I can do this now? No, because it's not a new day yet. I'm assuming like midnight hits and that's when the new day occurs. Um, that's an assumption. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's probably a good guess. But sleeping through the night will absolutely make it a new day. And now we can do a new chant, right? Excuse me, sir. A new day has arisen. Do not give me that no. That was, that was a yes. Um... Maybe it's not dayish enough. Where's the time thing on the top right? Let's give it until like one hour into daytime. I don't know when this will count as a new day, but I would assume by now it's a new day. I wonder what it's looking for. Like what time of day equals, okay, yes, you can do this again. Unless it needs to be like a full day. Maybe it needs to be like X number of ticks since the last time I did the ritual. Like, maybe it's not just counting, like, it's morning. It's counting, like, oh, you did it at 9 a.m. You can't do it until 9 a.m. Let me go look at the video and see what time it was when I successfully did that, and maybe that'll help. All right, so it was, like, 0032 when I did it, and now it's 0112, so it's definitely been uh, more than a day. Uh... Why you do this to me? I thought I had it all figured out. And then the game was like, nope. Fooled you. Game was very much like, ha, ha, ha. All right, let's do it. I do like, you know, the symbols and all that stuff rendering in the sky. That's cool. And then I'm just going to immediately sleep through the night. Oh yeah, look at that. That is cool beans. So then we'll immediately sleep through the night, and then we'll try the prayer thing again. It's officially been two days now, mod. I wonder if, like, the time advancement trickery doesn't actually... That would be sneak... I I mean, I'm using this mod to advance time, and the mod's like, you can't do this more than once per day. So I kind of could see the mod purposely saying that, hey, you can't advance time. You have to wait a full day. Yeah, I might have to wait a full day. That's interesting. I guess what I'm going to have to do is just wait a full day and then try it again and see if it works. And if that works, then we'll know that the making it nighttime trick doesn't, you know, count for this mod. What I think I'll do <clears throat> is wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time and check that out. But I think at this point we're just waiting to do the prayers so that we can um, get, you know, whatever creature we're praying to to enlighten us with new chants. So I think that's the gist of what I'm doing right now. I need to do this, and then eventually we'll, um, with enough prayer, the Dark Lord will reveal a new sign to you, the blood sign. And this can be used for more powerful prayer. And then we can eventually get the unholy symbol, which sounds cool. And then there's going to be some other stuff to do. But for now, let's wrap it up. Point. So Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Enjoying this mod so far. It's cool. We'll have some more fun with it next time. All right, guys. Take it easy.